1 to the first is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 cubed is 1, 1 to the pi is 1, 1 to the 0 is 1. In fact, it's true for negative numbers as well. Further than that, 1 to any real number is 1. So 1 to the infinity power should be 1? Seems like this should be true. It certainly feels true. But is it? When we ask questions like this, we also have to ask, what do you mean? What exactly is 1 to the infinity? We know how exponents work for finite numbers. We take the base and multiply it by itself exponent times. But what does an infinite exponent mean? One way you can try to handle infinity is by using the calculus technique of limits. We can approach infinity via functions, letting the variables in those functions grow larger and larger, out to positive infinity. The problem with this is we can approach our question of one to the infinity in a multitude of ways. Consider these two functions, one plus one over x to the x, and one plus one over x squared to the x. Take these functions and let x get bigger and bigger. That is, take the limit of these functions as x grows to infinity. One over x and one over x squared would get very small towards zero, and the exponents of x would grow very large out to infinity. Essentially, we have one plus zero to the infinity or one to the infinity. These expressions appear to approach one to the infinity power. Yet, computing these limits using calculus techniques reveal their true answers, which are both different. This is why when we discuss limits, 1 to the infinity is considered an indeterminate form. We can't determine its exact value without further inspection. Another approach to dealing with this issue is by using logarithms. Logarithms are the inverse of exponents, and we can often use them to deal with exponents. In particular, this property of logarithms is often used to turn exponential expressions into linear expressions which are easier to deal with. So maybe we can try this with 1 to the infinity. Now, completely glossing over the fact that this doesn't work if the exponent is infinity, we run into a different problem. Even if we could drop this infinity power down, the logarithm of 1 is 0, and we have infinity times 0. This is its own basket of worms, and I've dealt with it in another video. The good news is, using limits or logarithms weren't really addressing my original question. I don't care about approaching or getting close to 1 to the infinity. I want to know if, theoretically, I could type into my calculator 1 to the power of infinity and hit enter, what would the result be? This brings up our next issue. Doing that doesn't makes sense. Exponentiation is only traditionally defined for numbers, and infinity is not a number. It's a different kind of concept. And although it might be kind of disappointing, for good reason, 1 to the infinity power is traditionally undefined. But viewers of this channel know that I hate to stop there. And although 1 to the infinity is traditionally undefined, we could devise a new mathematical system where we do define it. Ironically, an intuitive approach here is actually using limits. We sort of naturally think that 1 to the infinity is 1 multiplied itself in a never-ending way. So we could define this symbol, 1 with an exponent of infinity, to mean the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 to the x power. Now, we have no trouble computing this, since 1 to the x is 1 for all real values of x. And now, taking the limit of any constant is that constant. So if you'd like to make this definition, you could say 1 to the infinity equals 1, just like you probably want it to be. Just keep in mind, it's not traditionally defined this way. And if you try to use this definition out of context, talking with any other mathematically trained person, including myself, they might disagree with you. 